Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. And with Easter just around the corner, I know that a lot of you will be thinking about Easter as a solid two week block of time that you can be using for revision. Whether that is for your final A-level exams as a year 13 student or year 12s doing ASs or internal summer exams. So in this video, I'm gonna talk you through a template that I've created that you can follow to maximize your time during the Easter holidays. And because I know you're busy and your time is precious, I've created this template that you can have for free linked in the description below. So let me talk you through this template and what to do over Easter. So first of all though, why did I pick Easter? Lots of you probably don't get what people think of as study leave. So study leave, I think in some people's head is a block of time before the exams start when you're not at school, so you can do lots of independent revision. But in reality, that's not what study leave is. For most people, you finish at school and then the next day is your first exam. So study leave is the period of time when your exams are happening and you are only going to school for your exams. The rest of the time you're at home revising. So it's not really a solid chunk of time that you have where you can just revise without interruptions for exams. And that's why I pick Easter as a really good two week solid chunk that you can get a load of revision done. And think of it essentially as an early study leave. And it is actually only about four weeks before your actual exam starts. So it's a pretty good time to do it. So I've created this two week template. Let me talk you through it. So here's the template and I'm gonna talk you through how to use it and the ideas behind it. So you've got this information at the top, just starting off by talking you through that. It is a template designed for you to edit it to meet your needs because everyone will have different working habits, different commitments and different schedules. So this is just a rough idea for you to then edit afterwards. The aim though is to hit six hours per day on revision days and you should be doing five revision days per week and two rest days. And at the moment I've just set that as Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday rest days. That might be different for you if you know you've got things going on on particular days midweek during the Easter holidays. I've also created this based on the assumption that most students take three A-levels and that is the case whether you're in year 13 or in year 12. So if you actually take four A-levels levels, you're going to need to edit this to take into account the fourth subject. Now I've done an equal split across all of the A-levels. This might be something that you want to slightly edit if you know that one of your A-levels you are significantly lower in because that one you should spend slightly more time on. And I've just left them blank so you can fill it in for your other subjects. For biology, I've written in suggestions of what you could do. And even within the suggestions, it's a little bit vague because the best thing that you can be doing is is starting with the topics or it might be skills that you know you lose the most marks on or that you find the hardest in the exams, struggle to remember or not understanding the key information. So I've given a rough idea. So for example, I've said for this one, pick your hardest year 12 topic and then depending on which revision activity you like the most, if you really don't remember it at all, start with a revision video. So one of my summary topic videos, for example, if you feel like you can remember it, then maybe go straight into the blurt or the flashcards. So this is like your in introductory point for the hardest topic. And then later on in the week, in this case, it's just the next day I've done it, you'll be doing exam questions linked to that topic. So you've got a selection of ideas here linked to active recall, testing what you can remember, and then exam technique with exam questions. And for year 13, I've put in specifically some skills to make sure you do focus on at some point, such as the practical and math skills and the essay. And in fact, if you are going to be joining the boot camp that Biology with Olivia, Olivia and I are going to be running, which is in the second week of Easter, that is two hours of biology every single day. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it would tick off all of those. And that is going to be skill specific. So Monday, we're doing maths. Tuesday and Wednesday is different exam techniques. Thursdays is the practical. Friday is essays. And the Tuesday, Wednesday ones will be linked to the hardest theory as well. So you could, if you are coming to that, whether you're a year 13 or Year 12, some of the days apply for you. You could then slot that in there as well. So that's how this timetable works. Year 12, it works exactly the same for you, except you have less content to cover. So you've got more repetition within there. Now on your rest days, which is when you have to do two hours, or I recommend you do two hours instead of six, I've put it in the morning just because personally, that's how I would work best, knowing that I can just get up, get the two hours done, maybe by 10 o'clock, and then the rest of the day is your 
own to go out or rest, do whatever you like. But if you'd rather have a whole day of fun and then do it in the evening, do it that way. Or if you want to have an entire two days off, then just add those two hours onto another day. And instead of doing six hours on Thursday and Friday, for example, if you did eight hours on Thursday and Friday, then Saturday and Sunday, you could have completely off. Now, these are all just recommendations. And as I said, it is fully editable to meet your needs and how you work best. And this is available for free to download in the description. So I highly encourage you to click that free download, get access to this and edit it towards whatever subjects you're taking and whatever your particular study habits are to make sure that you make the most of those two weeks over the Easter and that you have got scheduled in time as well to rest. Now I did say as well that over the Easter in the second week of the Easter holidays, the 8th to the 12th of April, if you do want more guided revision for A level biology, then I highly recommend you check out the A level biology intensive boot camp that Olivia and I are going to be running. So this course is all about exam technique. We're not focusing on the theory because that side of things we feel like you might be able to get a good grasp of by yourself, whereas exam technique is a bit harder to self-teach and self-revise, and it's what makes a massive difference between your grade. So we are doing a different theme every single day. Monday is maths, so general math skills and the statistics. Tuesday is going to be exam technique, focusing on application questions, which nearly half of your A-level will be, as well as the comprehension that you get at the back of paper two for AQA A-level biology. Wednesday is also exam technique, and it'll be focusing on answering those extended response questions, which are the long answer questions you get at the back of paper one for AQA A-level biology, but they're also dotted in between the rest of the paper and for other exam boards. And also critical analysis, which are the ones where you have the data, the method, a conclusion, and you have to evaluate the conclusion. Thursday is all about practicals. We're going to do one session on the year 12, one on the year 13 practicals, and we're going to be covering the most common questions that come up for every required practical for AQA A-level biology. And then Friday is the essay. So we're going to be doing a session all about how to write the essay, the mark schemes, top tips, and then the second session on the Friday, you'll be planning lots of different essay titles. So those are the themes for each day and every day you get two one hour lessons and you get the recording of the lesson and you get a workbook to work through live in the lesson with some extra questions that you can do afterwards to continue your learning and progress. Now you can now sign up below to book your spot. Spaces are limited, so they are gonna sell out quickly. It is 50 pounds for one day if you don't wanna to come to all of them, or if you think you're gonna to come to the whole week, you get one day free, so you pay 200 pounds. And if you are a bursary student, then just email evidence that you are receiving the bursary, for example, a letter from your school, to missestrick at gmail.com, and you get 25% off as well. So if you do want that extra boost, then definitely check out that below, and we'll see you at the bootcamp over Easter. So that is it, a full guide of how to make the most of the Easter holidays. And you've got that free template that you can get right now and start editing. And if you want to jump straight into some revision, then I recommend you check out my entire topic playlists where I summarize entire topics in about one hour. And if you watch it at times two speed, that's in 30 minutes. But for now, that's it. And I'll see you next week.